Let's build Bowl. Every single odd number has an E in it. Oh dear God, what have you done? Listen. Um, not all of them. 30 and 50 aren't spelled with the letter E in it. Oh, Father God. If you can split a number in half evenly, it's even. Uh, 30 and 50 are odd. Fifteen plus fifteen equals thirty, and twenty-five plus twenty-five equals thirty. Twenty-five plus twenty-five equals thirty. You sure about that? Lord have mercy. Okay, bye. Thirty days in twenty eighteen, shaking my goddamn head. <laughs> Are you serious? One, three, five, nine. And since everything else after that is a variant of these numbers, then all odds have the letter E. Um, you forgot seven! It just keeps getting worse. <laughs> what, what is going on? I just can't even... You whole ass forgot about eight, a number with an E, and it's pretty fucking even! Why would eight be brought up if it's even in a post about odds? The post said every single odd number has an E in it, not Every single number with an E is odd. What the fuck? Three days until 2019, we're still here. Happy New Year's Eve. I forgot to bring this flaming dumpster into 2019 so future generations can see what a mistake Tumblr was. Uh, guys, two is odd and doesn't have an E. You're just saying. D Did you just deadass try to tell me two is odd? I'm <laughs> fucking crying. Just throw, throw the whole goddamn website away. Reblogging for the last one. The one thing I noticed is that no matter how much you want to throw away this site, you just can't do his eye. Fucking scream! Wait, what about zero? That's an odd number, no? Uh, okay, but hear me out. 50 and 30 make up for the fact they have no E, by the way. They're pronounced 30 and 50. Bro, why do 30 and 50 matter? They're fucking even! What the actual fuck is happening? One is an even number. I'm gonna smack you. Negative 30 and negative 50 have E in them. Zero isn't a number. It can't be divided by two though, can it? Um, it can. Zero divided by two <laughs> equals zero. I just don't know. No, no. Odd numbers. One, three, five, seven, nine. OD numbers, huh? Anything that ends with a 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 is even and the rest is odd. 1, 3, 7, 9. Stop freaking out, y'all. You forgot 5! Dude, what about 4? What about it? Does, that doesn't have an E in it! That's because it's even! Are you guys okay? I'm fucking sobbing right now. Fucking God. I'm honestly so confused right now. What is going on? This is the height of our stupidity. It has to be or future generations cannot exist. And that is why not only understanding math is important, but understanding English comprehension is important. I made this a whole episode, Jesus Christ. I have a hot wedding idea. The worst man. It's his duty to try and prevent the wedding at all costs. And the best man and worst man engage in spy versus by shenanigans until the wedding is done. But don't forget the maid of dishonor who spends the entire wedding doing the same thing as the worst man, except her nemesis is the maid of honor. The best man and maid of honor can work together, but the worst man and maid of dishonor are actively trying to kill each other on top of stopping the wedding. That sounds fun. Is your laptop overheating? Pour water on it to cool it down. I trust you. Oh, do not trust people like me. I will take you to museums and parks and monuments and kiss you in every beautiful place so that you can never go back to them without tasting me like blood in your mouth. I will destroy you in the most beautiful way possible. And when I leave, you will finally understand why storms are named after people. Jesus Christ, that took a turn. You're beautiful in your own special way. Actually, I'm very ugly. Okay then, I was wrong. <laughs> hey guys, look at this ugly ass smelly over here decided he was too ugly for Tumblr. I see, I see how it is, Argo. Writing prompt. Every year, the richest person in America is declared the winner of capitalism. They get a badge, and then all of their wealth is donated to charity, and they have to start over at zero. 
This procedure results in the world's richest people donating excessive amounts of money ahead of the event and attempt to avoid being hit by real-life blue shell, thus adding to the overall annual donation. Y'all think this is a joke, but that's literally how taxes are supposed to work. Remember that you can't save everyone. But remember that you have to try. Excuse me while I do some normal stuff, but in a manner that makes it obvious that there is something very wrong with my brain. God, pets love eating meat-flavored cereal with no milk. Dog food doesn't taste like meat, to be honest. It's not for you, King! This pepper is way too small. Can you please put a little blanket or a tiny sweater on him? Because he's a little chilly. Get out! Buy 365 near-identical solid-color shirts that range to the entire color spectrum in a loop. It will appear as though you wear the same color shirt every day, but in photos from previous months, you'll be wearing a completely different color. You son of a bitch! I'm so in! The average faces of the members of the 116th United States Congress. It's him. Jerry Mandering. Okay, but seriously, that's creepy. Halloween. How did I scrub this bad? Guys, I'm so pumped for Halloween. Get ready for the Scala Ella Ellerton Wars. Yeah. <laughs> what is the point of that little pocket inside the pocket in your jeans? You can't fit anything in there. So you don't have change giggling around in your pocket. <laughs> this pocket's so small. Shut up, James! God, you're so annoying! Bar the Warrior was for pocket watches. Fuck! Disappearing under mysterious circumstances. I want to start appearing under mysterious circumstances. Walking through a deserted eerie forest? I'm there. Reporting an abandoned 1930s mine that no human has set foot in for 55 years? I'm there too. Touching down on Mars? Well, guess whose annoying face you're gonna see poking out from behind the rover? Ah, uh, so you're every monster in a horror movie. Guys, Stephen King literally looks like Cindy Lou Who's dad. L literally? You mock him because you know he's right. Your man doesn't have the mental strength to caramelize onions. Your man thinks it takes five to ten minutes to caramelize onions. What the fuck is caramelizing onions? Have you sociopaths forgotten that apples exist? Do you, do you think caramelizing onions is putting caramel on onions? You literally aren't equipped to care about every possible opinion on this planet. Your mother telling you that you're beautiful isn't a lie. Your friend telling you your art is cool isn't biased. The fact that you have people around you to tell you you're great means you've been socialized properly. The douche on Instagram or Tumblr ain't cooking you dinner, bringing you your PJs to the hospital, or giving you a lift home. You aren't psychologically equipped to give a shit about as many opinions on social media exposes you to. We have never been more exposed to other people's opinions, and that's what's making us depressed. You care, and that's natural. We've been programmed to care about what other people think. But no one is lying when they say they think you're great. They do think that. Remember that, repeat that, and embrace that. Embrace it, damn you! Okay, let's talk about himbos. A himbo must, must be kind, beefy, and stupid. Only kind and beefy? Well, that's just a hunk. Only beefy and stupid? That's just a jock. Only kind and stupid? That's just a decent man. Look at this graph. You see this? Write it down. You think seagulls feel regret? Because I just witnessed one swallow half a pancake in less than a second. Seagulls only have one emotion, and it is hubris. Welcome to Australia, where a fast food restaurant literally made a mirrored reflective seagull-proof packet for their fries so they don't goddamn try to fly down and steal your fries. And you think I'm joking, right? Fright. This is the best thing I've ever seen. The Q&A on Hunger Jack's website makes this even better. What if I encounter a particularly brave seagull? Run. Okay, hear me out. A Lord of the Rings game, but you play as the ring, throwing yourself wantonly into the path of unsuspecting folk and slowly corrupting their minds as the game progresses. It's a lovely morning in Middle-earth, and you are Hobo Ring. Lying in the bottom of a river? Press Y to glitter seductively. You've heard of one-shots, now get ready for non-shots! It's when you think of an idea for a fic and then you don't write it. <laughs> so we're looking at maps in class today and the teacher had zoomed in on China and one classmate proceeded to yell, Yo, China's looking thick! Sheep can die from heat exhaustion if they aren't sheared. Also, their skin secretes lanolin, which quickly soothes and heals any nicks they get during shearing. In conclusion, it is good to peel the sheep. Please peel your sheep! 
Okay, things are awful and will remain awful for a very long time. So here's a picture of two chickens with little handmade knitted capes on. Someone must love these chickens a whole lot to make them little chicken capes. They look so warm and lovely in their little chicken capes and I love them. See, here's how my day goes. I open Tumblr, I talk to myself, then I leave. My grandfather needed to work hard on becoming a degenerate gambler in order to lose everything to card debts. Youngsters these days have everything handed to them and they still complain. Did I make credit card debt, but I actually love this. And all I got out of it was this really tacky fiddle. Respect the fucking himbo, you mongrel! Did you just call Satan a himbo? Wouldn't it be nice to get knocked out cold with a shovel for exactly six weeks and five days? This is a headline on an actual news website. Wow, these Beach Boy lyrics are different than I remember. Wouldn't it be nice to get knocked out cold, what? Assorted cheese. Hell. Yes. Are we not gonna talk about the poem below that? The sky is dark and the wind is cold. The night is young before it's old and gray. We will know the thrill of it all. Brian Freery, One Piece 599. 599! Oh my god, you guys! Steve can't sleep when there's enemies around in Minecraft. But he could sleep when brawling in Smash Brothers. In conclusion, Steve considers the characters in Smash Brothers his friends. Thank you! Only to be betrayed by them immediately and deliberately. Guys, stop making jokes. Comedy peaked with Phineas and Ferb. And also stop making songs. Music also peaked with Phineas and Ferb. Aren't Phineas and Ferb a little young to be the peak of both music and comedic industries? Yes, yes, they are. Man and women. Men are like waffles and women are like spaghetti. Men are like waffles and women are like spaghetti. I never want context. Oh my god. They sprang this on us in our old church years ago. And my family has never let this joke die. Okay, so here's the stupid gender essentialist metaphor. Women are like spaghetti because their thoughts noodle all over the place. Men are like waffles because their thoughts are in boxes. Men aren't bad listeners, they just can't keep up with the conversation when women are noodling topics so fast and they have to keep switching boxes. Also, when a woman asks a man what he's thinking, he says nothing. Women just don't understand that some of the man's boxes literally have nothing in them. <laughs> anyway, if you think me and my brothers and my mom don't constantly give each other sad, tragic faces and said, I'm sorry, my waffle box is empty today, and noodle faster, and you're feeling it being a waffle, and I want to be clear, I'm a plate of spaghetti, pretty much indiscriminately in all directions all the time, you'd be wrong. Occasionally, the context of a deadest post makes it even better. What the hickety heck? The head of footer, Heronimus Bosch, the garden of earthly delights, 1515. No fucking way. 16th century Goomba. Writing prompt. In the afterlife, souls can see how many living people still know you once you existed. You have lived a fairly normal life. Finally saw the count drop to zero just 200 years after your death. 500 years later, 95% of the Earth's total population suddenly knows about you. And all they know is I sold really, really shitty copper. <laughs> God, I laughed so unreasonably hard over this. Okay, context. There was this dude named Yenasser who lived in like the 1700s BC ancient Babylon. And he was a merchant who sold copper. We know his name because there exists cuneiform clay tablets containing records of complaints about his extremely shitty stuff he sold to people. We actually have multiple complaint tablets about those shitty, shitty copper this guy sold. They were found in a room in what is believed to possibly be the ruins of his own house. Basically, this guy from ancient Babylon sold super shitty copper and then kept the complaints people wrote to him about his garbage goods and services. I mean, wouldn't you? That's fucking funny. I love capitalizing words that don't need to be capitalized at all. So that you have to read them in that important voice. Can I call you daddy? No, no, absolutely not. Get out. Silly putty implies the existence of serious putty. I believe that is called C4. On a scale of oobleck to C4, how serious is your putty? The way this entire can of Coke fits exactly in this Coke glass. Jesus Christ, it's 1 a.m. and I had a solid minute where I stared at this. 
and thought someone had peeled the coke. What game devs think are tough choices in games? You have to kill this person or spare them. What tough choices in games actually are? You know, this armor will make you more powerful, but it's ugly. Now, fuck that! I ain't saving the world if I can't look fucking cute, dude! So last year, we did a production of A Midsummer Night's Dream in drama class. And at the last huge rehearsal, we convinced our technician to play Despacito for the fairy dance instead of the usual track. The fairies ended up T-posing around Titiana, who started Fortnite dancing. I'm sure that Shakespeare would have wanted this. Do you guys ever think about how weird it would be if Mickey Mouse's name was actually Michael? Like, how weird would it be if one day Minnie called him Michael Mouse because she was so upset with him? Because I think about it sometimes. Okay, so I've just been informed that Mickey's full name is Michael Theodore Mouse. And that Minnie's is Minerva Mouse. I, I don't know what to do with this information, but I feel like I know something forbidden now. Well, now I feel like this is a good time to share the fact that Donald Duck's middle name is Fauntleroy. What? The f Mother bought fruit that smells terrible, so I tried to cover it with perfume and now it's worse. Moral of the story, don't try to cover up an unbearable smell with another unbearable smell. Because instead of canceling out, they just mix together and create another new unbearable smell. Gross. Oh god, I'm gonna fuck up this pronunciation, but whatever! Pieces of Viking pottery with traces of cats and dog paws seen at the Mosaic de Normandy at Cane Castle. So back in the day, pets already ruined their owner's artwork. My sis who took the photo? Um, ruined? More like made better. You know, it's very humanizing to imagine some poor potter in the past screaming, No! Bad kitty! Somewhere in Scandinavia. I mean, if it was ruined, the artisan wouldn't have baked it. That's... that's a delightful point you just made. This person chose to bake and keep their cat's artistic contribution. I was in Spain once, and there was a building with a tile that had been laid down in Roman times. It had a dog's paw print. And the thing was that after the dog did the print, the wet tile was dried, and then fired, and then shipped, and then laid. And for 2,000 years, every person who encountered that tile thought, aw, paw print, and kept it. This vast agreement of thousands of people over all these centuries, in memory of a dog only one of us could have met. I loved that tile. My algebra teacher is Pregante and asked my class for baby names, so she called on me, and I panicked and said, Luigi. It was on my phone and art, I read this and laughed out loud, and a kid next to me was like, who are you texting? And I panicked and said, Luigi. Guys, this should be a thing. Every time someone asks you something, you just panic and say, Luigi. Oh yeah, Luigi, at the disco. I mean, imposters should be able to read ghost chat. Imagine how much more fun it'd be to go, who killed my friend, and see them shouting at you from beyond the grave. They should also be able to see the ghosts. I already enjoy haunting imposters that kill me, but could you imagine being chased around the ship by angry souls who can do nothing more than slightly inconvenience you and shout at you? I believe that's Hamlet. I didn't expect 2020 to be the year of cat boys, but at this point it may as well be. I hate this post. I can't even go look for context. Where do I go? I don't have enough clues. Catboy 2020 doesn't give me helpful information no matter where I search for it. This is so infuriating. Like, I'm a detective that found a body in the back alley of an amusement park, but instead of an ID, it's just a note card with NYAH written on it. I'm sorry, I saw like three Catboy memes in my dash one weekend and assumed that it meant it was the new meme. Well, I hate to tell you, Goad. It is now. Me writing dialogue. What is man? But a vessel through which a higher entity may see. What is his purpose? Must he find a purpose? We are but stardust. The universe comprehending itself. Me writing action. They ran real fast from the bad man legs hurty. Me writing action. Her legs pounded against the earth. The familiar jolt grounding her like nothing else could. Magic. Gods. Royalty. She didn't know anything about that. But running? That's been something she's been doing since day one. Me writing dialogue. I don't know, man. What you want to do? I don't know. What you think? Hey, man. I don't know. Me writing action. Room go BOOM! Me writing dialogue. Nobody nope, that ain't dope. Ah, the holy trinity of writing. No, kitten food goes in the bowl, then food goes in you. Aw, oh, you seem to confuse a step. If I fits, I sits. Just an October reminder. Werewolves are usually very sore after transforming. Give them a heating pad and some gentle massages, and be sure to keep plenty of food and water on hand. Vampires don't mind the colder weather, so remind them to wear jackets when they go out at night so that they'll blend in better with the cold populace. The monster that lives under your bed likes the smell of candles you burn in your room. Lush forest is the favorite scent. The shadow people actually like night lights because more light means more shadow. The beast that lives in the woods likes watching you and your friends around the campfire. 
They like pretending they're part of the group. Mimics love Halloween because their costumes are always the best. This is an important month for the witches as well. Supply them with mason jars and remember to put out the moon water for them. And finally, the tree monster that clicks and clacks on your windows doesn't mean to scare you. They just need nail clippers. Yo, boil up some Mountain Dew, it's gonna be a long night. You could have said anything else! Cauldron boil a cauldron bubble. Baja blast to fuel my trouble! Okay, but I'm really proud of you guys. I feel like I don't say that enough. There are so many ways you keep amazing me. Please remind yourself, we're each of us so familiar with our own quirks and talents that it's so easy for us to view our traits and ourselves as unremarkable when actually the right onlooker would have been startled and impressed. View yourself with as much sympathy as you would a beloved character. The people we love, in fiction, and in life, are as flawed and limited as us. And we love them far more passionately than any theoretically perfect person. You deserve to feel that way about yourself. I promise. Holy shit, Goat, coming in for the kill. I was done with this whole OC, but something feels missing.